Hi guys, Overarch here, and today I'm going to briefly walk you through how to fix screen tearing in Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. So screen tearing is a super annoying thing. It basically causes this uh, horizontal jagged line where you have two images mismatched on your monitor. And what it's caused by is your video card outputting an image to your monitor as your monitor is midway between refreshing uh, what it's showing so monitors go from top to bottom and just they're very dumb they just do they output what the video card is telling them to output so there's a couple ways we can fix this the easiest is to turn on what's called vsync in game it's in the options menu however this doesn't always work for everybody i have an amd card the steps i'm going to take are the same for nvidia card users it's just a slightly different user interface I'm going to right click my Radeon settings down in the taskbar. I'm going to open Radeon settings and I'm going to go to gaming. Now, one second, it's going to load a bunch of profiles here. So next I need to find where Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege is. And in fact, you're going to notice that uh, if you aren't using the Steam version of the game, I'm using the standalone Uplay launcher, you're going to notice that this isn't here. If uh, you have the Steam version, then it should automatically be there. If for whatever reason it isn't there, I'm going to go up here to Add, and I'm going to hit Browse. Now, fortunately, this defaults to your desktop, which is super easy. You're just going to find the shortcut there, and you're going to click on it. If for whatever reason it's not there, you're going to have to actually go in, find where the file, find where Rainbow Six is saved at, and then find the .exe file that launches the game. For most people though, you should either have the shortcut or it should already be there if you're using the Steam version. And you're going to hit open. It's going to delay for a second and then after that you're going to see that Tom Cl the Rainbow Six Siege has been added to your profiles. There's a couple different ways to do this. The first thing I would try is I would try to turning wait for vertical refresh either always on or to enhanced sync. Try them both, see if it fixes the tearing issue. If it doesn't, and there's a little bit more complex fix we can do. You're gonna go to frame rate target control, you're gonna turn it on. So your monitor has what's called a refresh rate. And you might actually need to look up what monitor you have to do this. You're gonna to wanna to set your target FPS to whatever that refresh rate is. So if you have a 120 hertz, monitor you're going to want to set it to 120 fps that way your screen gets exactly one frame per uh every time it refreshes now if you can't get 120 fps which is pretty understandable for rainbow six siege you're going to want to set a whole fraction of that instead for example half so 60 fps or a quarter which would be 30 FPS, whatever you can manage. And if your computer can't manage that FPS target, then you're still gonna get that terrible screen tearing and it's not gonna work. The last thing you can do is you can buy what's called a free sync or G Sync, depending on the brand, depending on whether you're AMD or NVIDIA monitor. And uh, that's a little bit pricey, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend you do that just for Rainbow Six Siege. But basically those monitors have hardware built into them that are you know, it's a less dumb monitor. It has hardware built in that is going to be able to automatically synchronize the number of times it refreshes to the amount of frames it's getting so you won't have that terrible screen tearing. As always, guys, uh, also, one last thing. There are third-party applications that can do that, that can also do this target frame rate control. Uh, if you use, So everything is a common question I get. Nothing here can get you banned. This is all just tweaking settings. If you use third-party programs, I cannot guarantee that it will not get false flagged as, you know, being a cheat application and getting you banned. But nothing here will get you banned. But as always, guys, I hope this is kind of helps you fix that screen tearing, and uh, I hope to see you next time.